So, so you're, you're very, very welcome, welcome to Educo Gym, Gym Live. We're, we're doing a um, catch-up catch up on, on Saturday morning. morning. We're hoping to make this a regular thing. thing. And I'm joined by Educo Gym NS's Jackie, Jackie Murphy. Murphy. Jackie, Jackie, you're, you're very, very welcome. welcome. How, are How are you? I'm great, JV. Delighted to be live this morning with you. Great. great. So, so we're, we're going to make this, this uh, like I said, a regular thing. thing. And um, really, really, it's designed to help anybody who's following us on our various pages and involved in our different programs. And, and we, we hope, hope to provide lots, lots of tips, tips and tricks. And, and today, today we're going, going to talk about the role of the mind because it's really the element, element that makes a Duco Gym, Gym so unique. And, and um, Jackie, Jackie obviously will attest to this, this as well, well but the, the original Duco Gym um, study or the study that a Duco Gym really was modeled on was all to do with how the mind played such an important role in getting people into incredible shape. And uh, you you remember, Jackie, the original research results that we often, we talk to clients obviously about where um, we had in the original study, there were two groups of people. There were 30 people on a seminar in Bahamas and there were people and there were 30 people in Ireland and they both followed, which was interesting, the same diet, the same exercise and the same supplements. And we were talking about this yesterday, but it, it almost, I don't know, it took a while for it even to dawn on me how important the role of the mind was in that study. And maybe, can you remember the, obviously the results that the people on the study got were incredible, weren't they? Oh, they were, they were really incredible. Like they lost seven and a half pounds of fat and gained three pounds of muscle in just 12 days. Now that's unheard of for people to achieve a result like that, even in three months would be considered good, nor mind in 12 days. But as we were saying, Jamie, yesterday, I know people have heard us talk um, about that university study result, but it literally is mind blowing. And, you know, it, it's, it, we've been involved in this for, for years and, you know, I suppose understanding the importance of muscle, gaining muscle and how challenging that can be for people to gain three pounds of muscle in just 12 days is unheard of. Um, so it, 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 it just shows that the Educo model, when people were trained on how to use their mind to apply it to their end outcome, how that actually propelled and activated that uh, innate power that we speak about in Educo gym within them to, to almost bring that result into being. And that was the extra factor that the uh, you know control group didn't have. Um, they had the nutrition, they had the exercise, they had uh, the, the, the supplements, but they weren't being trained in how to use the Educo mind structure to bring about results. So it was fascinating, actually. Yeah, yeah and, and the, the, what, it, what's, what's important, important to understand, understand is, is that the, the, the results actually that the, that the control, control group were above average, average but, but the, the difference, difference between the two groups were it was that muscle uh, gain. gain. So, so the control, control group lost body fat, fat but also lost muscle. muscle. And, and that, that can, can often happen, happen when people are doing different types of uh, nutrition, nutrition programs or exercise programs. When, when they, they lose weight, weight they unfortunately lose muscle tissue. tissue. And, and it's, it's just, just so important, important for people watching this when you're thinking of doing a program. program. And, and the reason we decided to cover this topic today is because so many people are going to be thinking, okay, 2020 is nearly over. And a lot of people are going to be thinking, thank goodness. And uh, 2021 is coming just around the corner. So people are going to start thinking, right, what will, what will I do for myself in 2021? Um, there's a big focus now on health. Um, people realize uh, that things like underlying conditions, that the lifestyle factors, diet, the type of exercise or the lack of exercise is contributing to their ill health. And what we understand about uh, getting a person's shape is that as you get older, you lose muscle tissue. So maybe you just explain to people quickly how that works and what we, what we um, have shown in our program, but generally what's understood in the science of getting older. Well, you know, as we're aging, we're losing muscle. They say we lose up to 30% of our muscle tissue with aging. And as that muscle is um, breaking down, that's causing all different health problems. So a deterioration of our organs, um, poor, um, like not only do we lose the muscle physically, Jamie, we're starting to lose it from our vital organs. So, you know, when people want to go and lose, um, to shape up more, I think a lot of people go and they do aerobics. So they're walking, they're running, they're doing spinning classes and they're cutting calories calories but the research shows that that actually makes you know causes you to lose even more muscle 
which is going to slow your metabolism even further. So if a person wants to really get into shape, the secret to getting into great shape is actually to build muscle tissue. And I, I, you know, today the whole topic was about mindset and about, you know, your, you know, your mental diet. So like just to give people a bit of a background on it, Duco Gyms as well, uh, Jamie, mm-hmm. like, you know, uh, Duco Gym was uh, devised by Dr. Tony Quinn, whose whole area of research is the area of the mind and human potential. And, you know, to, I often heard Tony say that like back in the 70s, when people started to do aerobics or to start lifting weights, that it was actually unheard of back in the, the, the 70s. Like it was seen it was seen as strange to be doing any form of those exercises. But then after a while, people actually really took to them and there became a big craze about them and people loved doing the exercising and uh, lifting uh, weights. But, you know, um, Tony then devised the Aduka Gym machine because he said one of the best things you can do to help strengthen a person's mind is to get them to lift very heavy weights because Mm -hmm. when they're lifting those very heavy weights, they can't think about their problems. So that caused... the Duco gym yes they're coming in for that physical transformation um, and they 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 achieve that physical transformation through improving their diet or changing their diet and lifting weights and that has a knock on effect then to help them with their mental state but with the Aduco model we have some clients who've taken it a step further and they've actually done one of the Aduco seminars which basically caused a total life change because they totally changed their mindset and um, the whole model that we do is it's it's about tony teaches of all about unconscious attention and he got a breakthrough uh, sorry he got a master of science degree for his breakthrough in this area with unconscious attention so when people train on our machine they go into this level of attention they start to use more of their mind when they lift those weights and that has an impact then on their life but i suppose the area that you know if if we we talk about everybody today can accept that you train or a lot of people exercise because they know that that's good for their health but nobody's really talking about mental health or maybe they are talking about mental health we have lots of books out there that's going to help us improve uh, our lives but there is no model or series of of steps that people are teaching um, other than Dr. Tony Quinn he has a scientific model that if you apply those steps not only can you change physically but you can actually your whole um, mind uh, to achieve goals and the outcomes that you might want in your life. Um, and it's, it's, it's just the mind fascinates me. And I think it's an area that's becoming more um, of interest to people nowadays. So like, I'm hoping that, you know, like exercise was a, a new introduction in the 70s that the mind, you know, in 2020 is becoming more of a topic for people and more of a, an area that people would like to explore. And Absolutely. Tony Tony definitely has pioneered not only just in the physical exercise, because if you think about it, Jamie, like when I know for me, when I was, you know, first started lifting weights 20 years ago, uh, I, it was a taboo. Like I was afraid to lift those weights because I actually thought, oh, my God, I'm going to build up and become like a man, you know, because we just didn't have the education on it. And even with Aduco Gyms, we launched about 15 years ago and we started doing exercises like 15, 20 minutes of high intensity training. And back then, very little, very few people were doing that type of training. But if we look fast forward 15 years on, you know, everyone's doing those uh, short spurts of high intensity training now, but mm-hmm. 15 years ago, that was unheard of. So, you know, Aduka Gym is unique because we bring the mind into it as well. And um, that whole whole area of using more of your mind, more of your mental potential is, is, is um, I suppose, an area that I would think that Aduka Gym is really pioneering. Absolutely. And, and I, think I think what people watching this, and uh, we covered it during our relaxation events with Tom McKenna, so you should check those out. You'll find them in the videos on our Facebook page. And then we've also touched on it actually with Martin Ford when we've done our nutrition events. We've talked um, endlessly about the role that mind will play on providing optimal health because once your mind is set with your nutrition, and, and uh, uh, as, as when, when, when you, you actually incorporate the mind in your diet, diet then that, that produces, produces far superior results. results. When, when you, you learn, learn how to relax your mind, 
then you can really understand how to get the most out of it. And I think our culture is much more about being able to focus on problems and really trying to uh, figure out how to solve things and how to, how to put energy and time into maybe issues. Whereas when you really look at the results that people achieve, the extraordinary results come when people are able to give attention or focus to an outcome or to a goal. So why would you think it's important? Because coming into 2021, people are going to start to set themselves goals. Why is it important, do you think, to have a goal? Because your mind has something to focus on. You know, I find that, Jamie, if people don't have goals, they they lack that motivation. They they don't have the energy to just, you know, propel them out of the bed in the morning. And, you know, I was saying, I put a post up there, you know, two weeks ago saying that, you know, December is the last month of 2020, so let's make it a great one. So let's make, you know, daily goals. You know, there's a saying that I love by Aristotle, and it said, you know, um, we are what we repeatedly do excellence then is not an act but it's a habit so it's those daily habits that we do actually um form us we become you know what we repeatedly do so if people want to improve their lives you know they we have clients come into us because they want more energy and they they the first step that they see to get more energy or to get into better shape is by doing exercise um, and then they start to feel so good from that that mentally helps them in not just their their own body and being but it even can impact in um, every other area of their life from work to their family because a lot of clients would say that they go home and they've got the energy to do more things so i think it's all about a discipline I do think that we need to discipline ourselves on those daily goals because those daily goals ultimately then will help us achieve bigger goals that we, we may want to achieve. So if you don't have a goal, basically you're just lacking that motivation and you know, um, uh, we need to make ourselves accountable. We need to have something to measure our, um, ourselves, you know, mm. uh, again. But I definitely find that people who have, like, if we take it from even a gym aspect, you know, people who come in and they have to get in shape because uh, there's an end goal, like they have a wedding or it's because their their health depends on it or whatever the case may be. Yeah. It's as you as you'd agree, like people who have a definite goal where they have to get that result, their mind locks on that outcome. Um, incredibly so and they achieve the result whereas when people come in and they're saying yeah i know i need to get fit and healthy because my doctor kind of told me to but i really don't want to their 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 attention is divided and they don't tend to get as good a result as people who just have made their mind up to go for the outcome that they actually want absolutely so we, i mean we've both been doing this for uh well we've been training people for over 10 years and um because the duco gym started in around 2007 um but i I've, I've been using this model for 20 years and what i've noticed when you're working with people it's exactly as you're saying the people who get the best results are the ones that are clearest about the outcome that they're looking to achieve so you mentioned it there we we always joke about it in a zuko gym but you know if somebody is about to get married and they've got photographs they're going to last a lifetime they're pretty clear about what they're looking to achieve and it's a very important day for them so because the outcome is so important and they very often have a very clear picture of what they're looking to achieve, they seem to find it much more effortless. So you can often talk about discipline, but almost a person with a very strong goal or an outcome that they really want to achieve, they don't find it takes any discipline whatsoever because it's kind of at the forefront of their mind. Uh, it's an image that they've taken a snapshot of and they're really driven towards that outcome. And yet the people who maybe struggle to get into shape, they don't, they haven't really found something that's going to motivate them. So the first thing that we would be doing, uh, we would be encouraging you to do in 2021 is to find a reason that means a lot to you, that uh, is something to really aim for. And that is going to make an incredible difference. And we've noticed that it, uh, because people do struggle to get in shape, right? I mean, they do find it difficult. There is uh, so much money invested in um, magazines and books and uh, different types of devices and all sorts of things that, that people will try and spend money on in their struggle to get into shape. But we've noticed the people who get into great shape, that is the primary thing that they uh, have is a goal that means a huge amount to us. So 
what we like to do when somebody wants to come in and get in shape is we like to sit down with them first of all and then dig into finding what is going to motivate the person so we really help you to uncover that that i mean that's fair enough that's fair to say isn't it Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, you know, people, when you have a goal and you have an outcome to work towards, you know, that's going to help you. But I suppose going back to the 12 day study, Jamie, that we spoke about at the beginning, you know, um, when they took the when did they did that study just for people who may not have um, heard us speak about it before? They had two groups, 30 people in each group, the control group and the study group both at the same nutrition, both at the same food supplements and both at the same 20 minute workouts. The only difference between the two groups was that the study group was being trained on how to use more of their mind um, to their goal, uh, to apply more of their mind to their goal. Um, yeah. And I, like, I, I'm going to move away from that a second because I'm going to just say that like, if you look at anything in life where people are super successful in their given field. So if you look at a sports athlete and how they're incredible in that, in that area, um, or if you take it like a Richard Branson, who's incredible in business, they're very successful within their chosen field, but the rest of their life can be a disaster. Right? So what if we go back to our 12 day study what tony dr tony quinn is teaching a person on his educo seminars is how you, you can actually um deliberately apply a formula a mental mechanic steps that you can imprint into any area of your life and cause a result so mm -hmm. he deliberately about showing that with the 12 day study where he took 30 people and he showed them the Aduco uh, model and they applied the steps and imprinted the outcome that they wanted on their unconscious mind. And that then is what propelled them forward to achieving the result. You know, you yeah. mentioned earlier, Jamie, that there's a difference you know, when people um, achieve the results effortlessly, it's because they've made a decision in their mind and they're just coming from it. Um, whereas other people are only conscious minded about it. They, there's, a, there's a division going on in their minds and they de never tend to get the result that they're looking for. So the people who who now come into us in a do good gym and really make that transformation they have activated a part of their mind to cause that result now if we go back to the likes of a richard branson or somebody who's really successful in sports they're applying the same mechanics but they don't if you were to ask them how they are doing it they generally don't have a series of steps that they can tell you that they apply to cause the success in that area yeah and that's what the aduco model does is Tony has devised a series of steps that you can actually apply in any area of your life uh, to cause an outcome. So in general, if you look at modern education, you know, I was saying that on our uh, introductory talk the other day that it crams in information with the hope that that's going to give a person a better life. Whereas the Educo model is where you actually learn the outcome. So you literally deliberately go printing the outcome that you want, and then that causes you to it propels you forward so there's no division it's just a happening it's just a doing and um, so uh, that's I suppose what makes our whole system so so unique that you can actually deliberately set about learning your outcomes and we prove that through the 12-day study absolutely so so we would notice then from the experience we've had with getting results with people and you'll you'll see from the, the results that we got some of them are absolutely extraordinary and we have loved playing a part in it but we know that when the per it really comes down to the person and their ability to pay attention and to focus. And we know that if we can get them to have uh, a very strong reason that they're doing what they're doing, and then you can apply the other elements, which is the, the right type of nutrition, the right type of exercise, the right type of food supplements, and you almost combine it with the energy that comes from the person because they're so motivated, that is a winning combination. And that is how you can start to replicate results. So it's exactly as Jackie is saying, what, what you'll notice is and the great thing about getting a result, getting into shape, uh, achieving a goal, is you suddenly realize that you're capable of achieving goals. That That is massive for people because a lot of people think that they never quite achieve their goals. So what we would encourage um, for you thinking about 2021 is to come up with a goal that has a lot of meaning and then um, once you get on underway and you start achieving, you hit that goal. Now, suddenly you have a formula and uh, we'd love to be able to work with you to show you how you've achieved that. And then you can start to replicate that into other areas. It's like uh, it's like you're saying it's it's having a model or a series of steps. And it's exactly what you're saying. A lot of people who are successful tend to be successful naturally in an area. 
but aren't conscious of actually how they went about and did it. And therefore, it's very difficult for them to replicate in other areas. We'd also notice, I think you'd agree with me, Jackie, is that when people achieve a result, sometimes they've achieved that goal and that can then cause them to lose motivation. So it, it is a continual process of resetting your goals, coming up with a reason that it's so important, and then reapplying yourself to something else to continue to get that energy and that you know motivation and drive and then putting it into uh, another project that you have for yourself and then it's just almost like it grows doesn't it it's like it's unlimited absolutely i i mean you know going back to what you said as well earlier is that you know the importance of goals if people don't have those goals they're kind of going along aimlessly whereas when you have those goals um so that's why it's important so if any if people could take if anything from today to sit down at some stage over the weekend, spend an hour on your own and write out what are your goals? Like for 2021, what do you really want in your life? So that could be getting into shape. That could be, you know, um, be, uh, get, getting a new job. It could be I do, I get it, having a relationship uh, to become happier, whatever your goal may be. Just write down one goal, write down 10 goals, whatever you want in your life for 2021. Um, write them out because they they say that actually in the writing, that that's actually in imprinting it more in your mind. Because if you think about when we went to school and we had to learn, we had to learn poems or whatever we had to learn, we wrote it down. We kept writing it and writing it and writing it. And that was imprinting it. So then if somebody asked us about it, we were able to you know, say it and recite it. So generally, a lot of us aren't clear enough on what we want. So the, it's so important to spend that time. And I don't think people actually realize the importance of actually taking that time out to become very clear on what it is you want and what is your why. Do you know what is your why for doing that? So if it is to get into great shape, you know, why are you getting into great shape? Why do you want to get into great shape? So it could be for your health, for your looking better fitting into all your clothes that you have in your wardrobe that aren't fitting you but you know I, I think I don't know Jamie would you agree with me people actually don't really recognize or really give um, credit to the importance of actually taking time out to write down the goals. A hundred percent and in fact the, the research does show that it's so important to write out your goals and there's one study that they did with Harvard graduates and uh, they measured their success so they got them to they measured where they were at at the start of the of the study and then 10 years later what they had achieved and they found that there were they had three different groups of people people who had no goals and then people who had goals and then people who had goals and wrote out those goals and when they measured their success, now they did measure it in terms of their income and their wealth. Um, maybe that's a very American thing too, but it is an easy way to measure how, how successful a person has been able to become. They found that the people who had wrote out, who wrote out their goals, they were 10 times more successful than the others combined. Now it is important to realize that the people who had goals were more successful than the, more successful than those who didn't have goals. But there's all sorts of studies like that, which show that um, writing out your goals is so important. And exactly like you're saying, that it's that uh, process of imprinting it on your mind, which we are so fascinated by, because when you're working with people and you're trying to help them achieve their goals, you do get to see over a period of time what works and what doesn't. So I think that that's important. Yeah, well, th there you go. And, you know, Jamie, the other thing, you know, the mind, the mind is such a fascinating area. And, you know, we're we're all thinking um, thoughts constantly. Uh, it's it's it, the mind it impacts every area of your life and every second of your life. Mm -hmm. You know, to me, like just to give you a bit of background for with me, like I was always fascinated with that whole area of the mind. And I always remember coming across Buddha and Buddha saying, you know, that saying you and your world are composed of your thoughts. The wise person takes control of their thoughts. So if you think about it, right, when you come into the gym and you want to get a good before and after, you will change your diet. So when you eat the right foods, you digest those foods and you become those foods. So if you're eating a crappy diet, well, then you your outcome will be you look crappy. Whereas if you're eating good high life force foods, you're going to get in shape and you're going to have lots more energy. But it's almost your thoughts are the same. Like we're constantly thinking different thoughts and your thoughts, you digest those thoughts, too. So like I often say to people, like when we wake up in the morning, 
you know, a lot of the time people are asleep in thoughts and they don't realize that they actually can take control of their lives um, on every level. And sorry, I just noticed that my phone is just uh, slightly uh, <laughs> going down, <laughs> dying of it. But anyway, like, so they digest their thoughts as well. So people wake up in the morning and let's say they have a health problem, you know, they wake up and they'll they'll reach for that issue that's go that, that that they have and they'll play that issue out throughout the rest of the day then they'll meet people who are asking them how are you feeling they'll they'll go on about their health issue again so they keep going on and on about maybe the health issue so they're digesting that and that's causing their out that health issue more and more to be installed and printed in their in their mind so i think today if we also just say to people like you know what is your favorite trance that you're constantly thinking like what thoughts are you constantly feeding yourself because we tend to self-sabotage an awful lot you know mm -hmm. um and we need to become aware of the fact that uh we're playing these thoughts constantly in our minds and we need to snap out of the bad ones nearly take control of it almost like your diet rather than eating the bad foods you start to eat the good foods same with your mind rather than constantly thinking the bad thoughts start actually choosing the good thoughts and that's yeah. going to help you um in the direction of achieving those goals also when Absolutely. when you agree totally and uh yeah it's it's what you're saying is uh, so so true you want to try and see can you get people to really focus on on an outcome and uh your what you really learn on the seminar is the mechanics of your mind and that you can actually learn an outcome so in the original 12 day study that's actually what they did was they were more about learning the outcome that they wanted to achieve over those 12 days and that almost seemed to combine more of their energy, which which people might say is, okay, they were more motivated, but really it's all of their energy is going into that outcome. Whereas what happens with a lot of people is that they run uh, a film or a program or a trance, like you're saying, in their mind, and they do that repetitively, and that's all that they can see. And that is almost the outcome then that they uh, realize. So. The first thing, come up with a great goal. That's what we're saying. And the second thing is to then is to repeatedly run that in your mind so that that is what you see as an outcome, as opposed to the, the more negative or the, the thoughts that you really don't want that can often weigh down on the person. So that's the second thing that we're definitely, we're talking about. So what about, what about um, the attention or the role of the mind when they're actually, people are actually doing an activity? Um, what can we tell people about that part? Because that's kind of the third key really, isn't it? Yeah, so, you know, the mental diet, what thoughts you're constantly thinking. And then there, there is that third stage of it where you actually, you know, um, you don't look through those thoughts, you know, where people talk about um, the Zen state or being in the now or the Muga state. It's, it's a no self state where, you know, people just completely just drop the thoughts and they connect with with uh, the present moment. So, you know, there are those three pillars. Like I suppose I always see a Duke gym as a holistic type of gym. People come in, they get in great shape and um, that causes their mind to get into better shape. So then you have to consciously control those thoughts for the better and, um, you know, immerse yourself in the vision of what you want to achieve, you know, feed yourself only the good thoughts, digest the good thoughts. But then there is that third stage, you know, Jamie, that we speak about in the, the Educo uh, with the Educo model is where that, you know, what about, you know, just being present and in life because that is our natural state. You know, if we can relax the, the stresses and the worries like we achieve to do, like with Tom's relaxation, that's, a, you know, a step um, in the Educo model where you practice actively practice relaxation to relax the the mind because when you can relax the mind then um you 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 connect with that life force that energy that's within you it's the same as when you do the training when you lift those very heavy weights you you don't have time to think about anything that's going on in your life so that causes that energy and that power within you to 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 uh, come to the forward so you know we talk about in a duke gym going from you to the super you you know i've got um, a sign there on my steps coming up into our gym here in ennis that where it says just a few more steps to a the super you so you know a means to draw out from within so it's about mm -hmm. drawing out that super you from from within so if you write your goals you make yourself accountable to your goals you're activating actually more of that power that, that's within you so everything in your life is going to go much much better but also the importance of the whole, um, 
you know, we're talking about your mental diet. So to help your mental diet by practicing relaxation, you're, that's you taking control um, of your, your, your mind, your thoughts. And the more you can practice, yeah, just being present, it, you know, we talk about the one move, just doing what's in front of you, as opposed to just going off in a tangent, maybe like I am speaking now, <laughs> you know, um, but uh, it's, it's, it's about just being present and centering yourself because the whole, the holistic model that a Duke of Gym is about, it's about the body, it's about the mind, but it's about uh, your spirit. It's about that life force that's within us all. And it's all about increasing that life force. And you, you know, if you if you really want to live a better life, you need to take charge of your life. You need to take charge of your life by applying the tools we're saying. Write your goals, take action on your goals, you know, um, do the things that are going to make your life. Yeah. Find a goal that has a lot of meaning that really is going to almost uh it's going to cause your whole mind to come together to focus in one direction because it has so much meaning. So it, it, it literally will pull your mind together. And then the other part about it is, it's like you're saying, and, and we talked about it in the relaxation classes, it's your ability to pay attention to something as you're doing it. So the guided relaxation is brilliant because all you do is you just pay attention to the person who's giving the relaxation. In that case, it's Tom. Um, but when you're training in a gym, the great thing that you can do is to really pay attention to the training. So a lot of people go into a normal gym and it's more about distracting them. They don't actually particularly like the exercise. They don't particularly like the idea they have to spend hours in there. Whereas if you can actually put your attention into what you're doing, and it's quite simple. I mean, even think of it logically. If you want to lift a very heavy weight and you're using your bicep and the more attention that you can put onto the bicep to lift that weight, the more energy goes into the muscle, the heavier weight that you're going to lift. And it's almost like you're developing that within yourself to really lift heavier and heavier weights. So that's, that's what we're really getting people to become more conscious of so that then they can see the benefits of that practical application of their attention. And then they get these incredible results. And so I think if they, if, if people were to focus on those different elements, they're going to be much more successful at either getting themselves in shape or achieving their goals in general in 2021. And it starts with the outcome in mind and one installing that outcome if you find that you're 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 constantly battling with yourself well then we be called relaxation with a purpose that dr tony quinn did 20 years ago so it's called like relaxation with a purpose so what is the purpose what is the outcome so if the outcome let's say is getting into great shape well then you write it out you write the measurements you want you know because if you have those exact measurements or that size that you want to be in now your mind can work towards it but then to apply and ensure the success of that outcome if you did the relaxation with a purpose you're imprinting you're installing that outcome on your mind so therefore, it becomes more effortless, effortless for you to achieve that result. And you can get that if you if people wanted to um, have that as a goal, doing your relaxation on a daily basis, you can get that relaxation with a purpose on the Educo Health website or the Educo Gym um, website. And the relaxation is a half an hour. And maybe that's one of your goals to do that every day, because I know personally that when I commit to doing the relaxation uh, on a daily basis, like it's incredible how different my day is. Like it's like day and night with the difference in it, because, you know, you're relaxing the mental tension. So therefore, more of your life energy can come up to the surface and therefore you'll have more motivation and more energy in the pursuit of those goals. Um, and uh, to me, Jamie, it's all about energy anyway, and it's all about increasing that life force. That's ultimately what it is all about. So, you know, the more you apply the process, the more results and the better results that you're going to get, which is ultimately going to help your mental state. Um, yeah. From yeah, brilliant. Great. So if um, we're, we're I think that's we're, we're probably going to wrap it up. Uh, for today, but if people have anything that they would like to ask us for future Saturday morning sessions, we would love to hear from you and we would love to be able to have a, a stab at answering your questions. We've both had a lot of experience in training, nutrition and achieving goals and helping people to achieve their goals. So we would absolutely love to help you. And we, we will have different guests from time to time. And um, so if there's anything else, Jackie, that you do you think that you'd like to cover or um, will we wrap it at that? 
I would just say after this call, make sure you set up a time this weekend to sit down, write out your goals, be clear on them and make yourself accountable to them. Because by making yourself accountable to them on a daily basis, you will seriously reap the rewards from that. Absolutely. Yeah, 100 percent. And it's great to get the feedback as to what's happening. So if you've set yourself an outcome and depending on what happens on a day to day or week to week basis, you can adjust your approach, but keeping that outcome in mind and you'll learn a huge amount about yourself um, and all of it positive. So I would really recommend that you do it. Great. So thank you very much for everybody for joining us. We really, really appreciate it. And again, we will do this regularly. So please do send in any questions that you have we really want to help you in the areas of nutrition training the mind and supplementation as well as hugely important so jack thanks a million that was good fun i enjoyed it we enjoyed it anyway yeah yeah definitely yeah. <laughs> thank you have a great day everyone have a great day we'll see you again soon thank you bye 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 bye